Hello, good morning, I have the intention in this video to explain what mods are, how to download them and how to use them. For this we have to come to this tab, the options tab. Modifications that I have downloaded now I will tell you how I know how to download and here I have the and here are the ones that I have active at this moment, ok, if you don't need any of them, you simply select it, you select it, you click deactivate and then it would appear in other words, it would be removed from the bottom of the active ones and it would come here, that is, it is not deleted, it is simply deactivated, then it would go to the upper part very well, I do not want to deactivate any of them at the moment. And now I will show you how to download them for that, you have to click here to download mods ok. We accept this and here we have the list ok, we could say the official list of modifications that can be downloaded ok, you have to download them little by little there are some that are almost instantaneous because they take up very little space for example me I know this one. Here that puts three dots here well, it only has 1.4 megabytes, on the other hand, this other one from Ellender ESD, because it occupies almost 400 megabytes, so it will cost more time to download them if you see that there is one that has a code here, a version that it is, for example, before 26, for example 2524 well, if I were you, I would not download it because it will already be out of date. Sada, ok then, well, what has been said? All the ones you need will be downloaded and then they will appear here on the left. So that you can use them like I do not now I'm going to download any of them I go back and now how to activate any of them well let's see for example let's see this one in the 21st century I select it I give it to activate and it appears there that means that it is already active well then it still hasn't stopped complete let's say the execution then we would have to click here to save and restore we are going to do it as you can see the program has stopped and it has started again very well we are going to see what modifications we can see like this at a glance if we click here to a user and to games and click here, well, if you realize, some have appeared that were not there before, let's say, for example, this one is Western Europeans or this other Eastern European ones. That's what there is. Very well. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to deactivate it too. Leave it as it was. Then I go back to modification selection of modifications. I choose this one, which is the last one that I have activated and that I do not intend to use at this moment and he deactivated it, ok. Let's see another one that is a little different, this is here the Millennium ad very well. So you know the first thing to do is activate it, it appears here in the active modifications area, correct, now I press save and restore, it turns off the program is turned on again and now fixer well that has a different look in fact here it also says millennium more than very. Well let's see what modifications there are I choose a game I give it here and it turns out that the list of civilizations that existed before has completely disappeared and in its place well, there are others, for example, the Saxon, Byzantine, Carolingian angles, the one of the Thebans is good. It is because there is an active one that is exclusive to them, that is why it also appears.
This one is also valid. As you can see, it has many modifications for the therefore win. With respect to the original game, in fact, when we use it later, you will see that even the dresses worn by the citizens and the soldiers, well, it is totally different. You will see, well, I am not going to use it. Now I go back and remove it from the the. Active list is here I deactivate it very well and now a piece of advice let's see you. <coughs> Can download all the ones that are on the list if you feel like it but try to do. This by activating them little by little perhaps one by one because we imagine that. Some of them it gives you problems, there are errors when executing, it is easy to understand that it was the last one that you have activated, on the other hand, if you have activated five or ten modifications at the same time and you start having problems and errors, you will not know what the that is generating them. Therefore it will cost you more going back even to the best you will not know which ones you have used and have activated at that time so. My advice is to activate them one by one and testing them accordingly okay well. That was everything I wanted to tell you about that. Modifications, I say goodbye and see you in the next one, see you later.